Hi kids, it's Miss MJ from the Marathon County Public Library out at our Stratford branch. And today I'm going to be reading to you some wonderful books about chalk art. You might even have your own chalk that you use on your driveway. And I think these books are going to inspire you to get back on that driveway with chalk. Let's get going. Our first book today is called The Chalk Giraffe, and it is written by Christy Paxton with drawings by Megan Lotter. One day, I drew a giraffe out of chalk. My giraffe came alive. He could eat, he could talk. I'm alone, he cried out. There's just gray all around. So I drew him a tree growing up from the ground. My giraffe liked that tree with leaves blowing in the breeze. They tickled his nose and made him sneeze. But still I could see that his face looked forlorn peering out from among the Acacian tree thorns. My giraffe would not laugh. Instead, he just said, I am tired and I can't use cement for a bed. So I drew him some grass. It was bright green and lush. And soon the night came and all was a hush. till my chalk giraffe gave a deep grumpy sigh and then waited for me to make a reply. What's the matter? I asked. It's too dark, he protested. I need a nightlight to get well rested. So I drew him a zillion bright white chalky stars and later a sun coming up from afar. Well, I've had enough, I said, dropping my chalk. I wish I'd never drawn a giraffe that could talk. Instead of saying thanks, you make rude demands. So goodbye, chalk giraffe, you've had your last chance. So I rubbed that giraffe right out with my shoe and the stars and the sun and the tree that I grew. But that night I kept thinking of my work of art. Sad thoughts settled deep down in my heart. I really missed that grumbling giraffe. I knew I still loved him. Laugh or no laugh. The next morning, I leapt up awake. I picked up my chalk to fix my mistake. I drew a sun and some stars, an acacia with thorns, and my frowning giraffe from his feet to his horns. But this time I noticed a twinkle in his eye. He seemed full of mischief. I wondered why. Then giraffe grabbed my chalk and I suddenly found I had stick legs and arms and was stuck to the ground. Come, said giraffe, and look down from up here. The world looks quite different than it would appear. So I proudly showed off my tree climbing talents and scaled his long neck with great skill and balance. And finally, perched between his two horns, I surveyed this new world and I too felt forlorn. I saw what he saw and it looked kind of lonely. He needed more friends to make his home homey. I know what's missing, I cried out with glee, 
This world needs much more than just you and me. Giraffe and I got to work right that minute. We drew zebras, a buck, and a small spotted genet. We drew snakes up in trees and tiny dung beetles, a lounging leopard, and two sprinting cheetahs. and a rhino with horns, and elephants with trunks, and a croc with a grin, looking out for his lunch. There's still something missing, Giraffe whined without end. Will you ever be happy? I asked my chalk friend. But still, I could see from Giraffe's point of view, there was something absent. A giraffe number two. So I let my chalk friend draw another giraffe. It looked just like him, except that it laughed. I sighed with relief. It had taken a while, but our work was now done. Giraffe finally smiled. So I climbed right back down his long furry neck till I was to him just a small tiny speck. When I left the chalk world, my giraffe didn't flinch, but I think that I saw his right eye move an inch. I think he winked. And I knew at that moment we'd created great art, and I was glad that I'd let my giraffe play his part. The end. Our second book for today is called Chalk, and it is by Bill Thompson. This is a very special book because it has no words. The words will come out of your mind. Are you ready? Okay, put on your thinking caps. Can you see? Is there something special about that animal? Do you know what that animal is? If you said dinosaur, you're right. We no longer have dinosaurs in the world. They were from a long time ago. Do you see what's at the bottom of this dinosaur? What do you think that is? Does it look like a spring? Where might we find something like that? A plastic or hard plastic dinosaur on a spring? Where do you think this dinosaur is? Do you think it might be at a playground? Where kids might jump on it and ride it? Have you ever been at a playground like that? What's different about this dinosaur though? Is he holding something? Where is he holding it? Is there someone joining him? What does it look like the weather's like that day? Ooh, what happened there? Did one of the kids grab the bag? Can you tell what they're finding inside? Right, 
So now, what did she pick? What color is that? And what is she drawing? Do you think it might be hard to draw in the rain? I wonder what she's thinking. What, what just happened, do you think? Can you tell what the children are thinking? Now what happened? Where are they looking? What color did she pick? Why do you think her face looks like that? What do you think she's feeling? Can you tell what she chose to draw? What do you think might happen next? Let's find out. Oh my goodness. What happened? What do you think the children are thinking? How do you think they're feeling? How would you feel if this happened? I wonder what happens next. Now looks like it's his turn. What color did he pick? What's he starting to draw? Do you have any guesses? Do you see what's in the background there? That our play set? Do you see our play dinosaur? Would you jump on that and ride it? I think I would. That'd be fun. Well, let's turn the page and find out what happens next. Okay, what is happening, do you think? Do you see that shadow? What do you think that is a shadow of? What do you think the kids are feeling? Would you be feeling that way? Oh boy, is this what you thought was happening? Did the dinosaur come to life out of that drawing? Do the kids look happy? Sad? Terrified? How would you be feeling? I think I'd be terrified. Now, what is gonna happen? What are the kids doing? Boy, are they trying to hide? Do you think they'll make it? Where are the kids right now? Have you ever hidden inside a tunnel at a park? Inside the play equipment? Do you think they're safe there? What's happening now? What's he drawing? Do you wonder why he's drawing that? I do. Let's find out. What's happening? Looks like it's starting to cloud over, doesn't it? What sometimes happens when it gets cloudy? start to rain? 
What's happening to the dinosaur? Can you tell? Why do you think that's happening? What was this dinosaur made of? Did you say chalk? Remember he drew it from chalk? So what's happening to the chalk? Has that ever happened on your driveway after you drew some chalk? <gasps> Have you ever seen that after you drew with some chalk? What's happening here? Looks like the kids picked up the chalk and put it back. Would you do that? What's the expression on that kid's face? The end. <laughs> do you think they had a good day there? Is it one of those days that you think about later and think it was fun, but at the time you were like, wow. That was quite an adventure. <laughs> oh, do you think that all happened in their minds? Or do you think it really happened? Oh, what a great adventure they had. The end. Well, I hope you had fun reading about some chalk today and getting inspired to do a little chalk art yourself. <laughs>